floss tube. Hi. Um, hello, darling. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yes, we're back. Um, been away for a little while because I was. I've been a bit poorly for a little while. Um, and my health deteriorated quite a bit. And so I went into hospital for a couple of nights and just to get me back on my feet again. And I'm feeling much better now. Um, yeah. So in between all that, um, I've been stitching like a good one. Um, I finished my um, Jack Spash by Plum Street Samplers and it's on the wall now, so I haven't got it here to show you, but um, there's pictures of it on Instagram. Um, yeah, so I was really thrilled to have finished that after all the effort. Putting in that last stitch was... Sorry about that. I nearly killed you, sorry. Putting in that last stitch was brilliant. Uh, just the feeling was fabulous, wasn't it, Nels? Mm -hmm. Yes, fabulous, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah, those of you that have finishes, <laughs> um, which most of you do, you know the feeling of putting in that last stitch. So, yeah. What else have we been doing, Nils? Um, yeah, stitching on other things. And I took up sewing. I got the sewing machine out. Um, and I made myself a couple of um, project bags which was fun um, and I'm making one for a friend at the moment but um, it's going to be a surprise so I won't say who it's for I'll show it um, but there's one little one that I made for to put my notions in it's got a feather on it it's been on my duvet um, so yeah put a big button on it and it's velcro and inside there is just scissors and floss and I put those inside I put those inside the bigger project bags so I really love the little ones they just hold all the bits and bobs which is lovely lots of fun um, let's put that there Millie hang on Mills Right, so there's another one I made, and this one is following Vonna's tutorial, um, and this is zombie, zombie pinups. There you are. There's the, oh, the back is upside down, but there we go. Zombie pinups, and the inside fabric is the dots. There we go. Um, yeah, it's not perfect. But, you know, it does the job and I'm, I'm still learning to sew in a straight line on the sewing machine. So, yeah, it's not perfect, but I'm getting there. So that's that one. And the other one I made was this one, which is uh, Trick or Treat Halloween. There we are. And I had a lot of good feedback. People say they like that one. Um, and the inside of this one is Spiders. So, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, enjoying that. I had a go at making a grime guard um, a couple of days ago, but um, I made it too small. It's just a little bit too snug, wasn't it, Nils? Yeah, too snug. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have to have another go at that and uh, probably find a, a different tutorial on how to do that. Um... So, what else have we been doing? Well, we are work. We have been working on Prairie Moon. There we go. And it's called Thine is the Trick and the Treat. There we are. And that that was um, a gift from Minnie, Minnie Gray. And this is as far as we've got on it. And if I put this behind me, you can see it better. There we are. So that's a fun stitch. I'm enjoying that a lot. That's um, 
needle minder from Denkai, Denkai Designs, and it's a witch. And it says, what does it say? Something wicked this way comes. So that's that one. Yeah, so I've decided that I'm going to put the Halloween stuff away now because it's it's starting to get Christmassy in this house, isn't it? In this house, really. It's starting to get Christmassy. Sorry about that. Um, so, I'm waiting for my Christmas fabric to arrive and I'm going to make um, a... Um, Christmas project bag. I've got my Christmas patterns out ready and I've already started one which is this one by the Heartstring Sampling and it's called Baby It's Cold Outside. You can see it's very Christmassy, it's very pretty and this is what I've done so far. Hang on. Here we are, that's what I've done so far, getting there. Um, not enjoying sewing with the white. It just The stitches never look neat with white, but um, hey, they never look neat, do they? But I'll make sure it's all tidied up and it looks nice before it's finished, so no worries there. So that's that one. And after I've done that one, I'm going to do The Christmas Witch by Kathy Barrick. I've been looking forward to doing that one. So that's my next Christmas project after um, the little Christmas house thing. And, um, yeah, so that's, I've got another one. Um, called Christmas is coming, Goose is getting fat. I'm going to be doing that one as well, hopefully. Hopefully, isn't it, Mills? Um, but that's last on my list. I'll get the other two done first, I think. Um, and then, if I need a change, um, I got a gift from um, my lovely friend April, who got me this. And it is um, The Wives of Henry VIII, which um, I absolutely love. Um, and I've decided to do it on this grey fabric at this moment in time. It's called, what's it called? Tempest. And it's, I think it'll look nice. Um... I was going to dye some fabric, but I still haven't got the um, courage to dye it in case I ruin it. Are you going to show fabric, Mills? We're showing off fabric. Yes, you stay there, darling. There we go. It reminds me of the surface of the moon a bit. And it's got some sparkle in it. Um... But anyway, that's what I was thinking of doing it on. And whether I will or not, I don't know, but that, that's what's been put in there for now, this one. Can't see it there, can you? The light's bad. There we go. And that is 32 count. Okay, Billy, do you want to get down? I'm quite happy there. Because you're making things a little bit awkward for Mummy. Yes. I've got to do everything with one hand. Everything with one hand. You've got your mouth. You're swallowing dust. You're swallowing dust. Where are you going? I'm just going to sit there. Mm. Sit there. Okay. Now I did have some more fabric somewhere that I was going to show you. I bought. Where did we put the fabric, darling? it can I put you down can I put you down 
She's been very clingy since I got home from the hospital. She just won't leave me alone. Not that I mind, I love her so much, but it's just hard to do things when she's stuck to you like glue. Look how stuck she is. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. Now I've got another little piece of fabric somewhere. And I'm Millie, careful, sweetheart. I'm not sure where it's gone now. Millie, have you eaten the fabric, darling? Have you eaten it? No, we've lost it. We have lost the fabric. Uh, we've lost it. But it's on the floor. Do you think it's on the floor? No, not on the floor. You can, you can see how difficult things are at the moment. I hope I haven't broken that light. Right, you're going to have to get down, darling. Life is so difficult. She's covered me in dog bread. Oh, Lord. It's fine, Andrea. Now, where's that? I should be more prepared. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, um, and um, I've been knocked off my feet by something. I couldn't even get out of bed. I was so unwell. Um, I've had so much pain in my knees. And I'm on so much medication, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I'm really tired. But I'm keeping busy and I'm doing things, which is which is good. Um, it stops me thinking about other stuff. Um, I'm excited about Christmas coming. So um, hopefully um, my son will be here and... And Kay and we'll do a floss tube together. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, yeah, that'll be really good. I miss him a lot. It's been it just feels like too long since I last saw him. Um, yeah. Um, I bought some new cotton. Here we go. I've only taken one out. It was a pale pink because I'm using that one at the moment. But the, this is Moon by Coates. I'm sure I remember Coates when I did sewing at school. Um, but yeah, so I bought these for, I think it was £13 on Amazon. And they're really good. They don't, um, they don't seem to snap on the sewing machine, which is great. Look at all those colours. It's like sweeties, it's lovely. Um, I've got some new bobbins as well. Um, different colour ones. I've been using one already. With some pink thread on it. So I'm running out of those. Uh, fabric. I've been buying fabric for um, to make project bags. So I've got some really cheap fabric and this was like, this is a metre for like three pounds of um, skull and crossbones. And that will probably be an inside of something. So I thought that was quite nice for three pounds a metre for a whole metre. That's, that's really good. Um, this one was a bit more expensive. This was about seven pounds. And... I think my buddy Audrey would love this. There we go, look at that. And I'm sure Belinda would like it too. Let's put it over that way a bit so you can see. There's a bird in the cage and poison and things. And a bat, frog. Yep, so I've got a metre of that. I'm looking forward to making something out of that. I don't think that this will be very good for the inside. I think it needs 
something different. Um, I made a cuddle sack or two cuddle sacks for the girls. Here we are, the cuddle sacks. Don't look at the sewing on the inside because I'm still learning. Um, but basically they crawl in there and go to sleep, which they love. And this is like 1950s poodle fabric. And um, I've got a metre, well, just shy of a metre of that because that's all they have left. And then I got some cheaper um, polka dot fab fabric. And inside that is I just stitched a pillow in there. It's a bit dirty because the dogs are using it now. But I stitched, there's just a pillow in there and I covered it in batting just to make it warm and snug. Um, yeah, and then just stitched this. This is padded as well and stitched that on top. So the girls are very happy with that. Um, I've got some gingham Christmas fabric here. Um, and that's going to be probably for the inside of my Christmas project bag when the rest of it arrives. Uh, so annoyed with one seller because it's just I've just ordered something like two weeks ago and all it is is a metre of Christmas fabric and it still hasn't arrived. Um, so yeah, I've had all sorts of problems with um, sellers online at the moment. I think that's just about it for my fabric. Oh, I bought a dog coat pattern, look. Ah, you make some dog coats. Look at those, aren't they cute? So I'll do that soon. Let's just pop this fabric back. So, I'm so sorry, I'm just completely unorganised day because just I just haven't been well and I'm covered in dog hair sorry about that um yeah and when I got so ill it just it frightened me I just thought oh my god I'm you know I'm going downhill again so quickly and um just I worry but I'm okay now so it's just the amount of medication I'm on. Just, sometimes it makes me feel unwell. Um, and I've promised for posting out things to people and I've I just couldn't I couldn't get to the post office in the last couple of weeks. So I'm so sorry if you're waiting for a a letter from me, it's coming. I did manage to get to uh, the post box at the end of the road to post postcards to lots of people to let them know I'm still thinking of them um, but bigger things that need more than one stamp that you have to go to the post office for um, I haven't done that I'm so sorry um, but I'm, I will do that um, soon I'm hoping to be well enough on Tuesday to go out and I shall have someone with me then just in case I keel over I'm just not well. I'm fed up with being ill. Really tired of it. Uh, hmm. So that's why I keep myself busy and try not to think about it. The girls got new coats this week. Um, they got pink leopard skin raincoats. Um, and it keeps them warm and dry and they're matching and I thought they looked cute somebody in the street said they look ridiculous and I thought thanks I like it so oh here comes Bindi Bindi's come to say hello here's Bindi there she is Bindi say hello say hello it's my Bind yeah Bindi she's a happy soul at the moment because she's got her mummy home and are you happy? She's been a bit naughty. She's not eating her dinner. Um, or she'll eat anything that I've got. She'll eat my dinner, but she won't eat her own dinner. 
so yeah she's been a bit naughty and yesterday I offered her dinner and she just turned her nose up and, and she like she puts her foot near and shakes it like that oh no I'm not gonna eat that um so I had to be quite tough on her yesterday and say, right, I'm taking it away, then you're not getting anything else. So I started to get a bit worried. Um, but she held out. She's, she still wouldn't eat it. And, um, well, we'll see what happens today. Hopefully she's hungry enough. She'll eat her dinner today. But if not, we're going to have to take her to the vet and see why she will only eat human food. Mm. Is it because you're spoilt and you're naughty? She's holding out for the good stuff, people. Yeah. Because she's drifting off. Night night. See where Millie's going. Yeah, so, well, it's only a short one because. I know a couple of people were worried about where I where I was, so I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay and I've just been a bit unwell. And please don't worry because I'm fine, really. Um, and I don't know. Did he drop it? <laughs> Silly dog. Silly dog. I've got to somehow turn this off now, Ben. Hmm? I love you. I love you. Bindi. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you stay there, darling. Alright, just a short one, just to say hi and goodbye. Um Yeah, so keep on keeping on. And, um, oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to show you a pattern that I bought. Where is it? Do I have a bunch of stuff? Oh, there we are. Look, here it is. I bought this from, um, I promised her I'd, I'd, I'd um, show it to you. This is from Fairy Wool in the Wood, and it's palmistry. You see the hand? That's great, isn't it? Fairy Wool in the Wood, Etsy. Um, I'm doing her um, fortune teller at the moment, Madame Tina. Um, but everything that's not Christmassy has been put to one side um, until the 1st of January. So, um, but if you want to see how far I got with that, if you have a look on my Instagram, Mortuary Stitches Instagram, you'll, you'll see all my my photos on there. But yeah, so there is Fairy Wool in the Wood and um, Palmistry. So I'm looking forward to doing that in January. Right, Bindi, shall we say goodbye now? Bindi, say goodbye. She's listening to the seagulls. Ooh, Millie's heard them. <laughs> okay, well bye for now, folks, and I'll see you again soon.